Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Yi Sun, and today I'm going to talk about my practical work in progress from the major project. My presentation will take around seven minutes, and if you want to, you can ask me any question after I finish. So, firstly, I will give you just a short briefing about description of my unit two. Secondly, I will analyze the research process of unit two. Then finally, I will talk about the summary of the whole unit two. So to start, in unit one to unit two, from the universe scene I choose at the very beginning to the lava planet as my major project, I gained a lot from a vague idea to a perfect work. In unit two. My project is situated site, and I choose Science Museum London as the site for research. I take the research as a theoretical support of lava planet civilization, and look for deep meaning and reflection. Secondly, I drew the preliminary lava planet environment and the setting of the creatures and plants. In addition. In the investigation of planetary civilization, I based on the evolution of the characters in human civilization and combined with the meaning of the characters of Voyage manuscript and Codex Seraphinianus as a language research basis of the lava planet civilization. Then I have made some attempts on the painting techniques by using etching and lithography, screen printing, and digital painting. Finally, I have made a prospect and plan for the project form of my major project, Lava Planet. Secondly, in Unit One, I choose this universe as a primary theme and interest point. The reason why I choose this theme is that I am science fiction fan. Afterwards, I divergent my thinking according to the interest point of the universe. Among the exoplanets. There are desert planets, lava planets, gas planets, and ocean planets. Eventually, I chose lava planets and wanted to build a lava planet world. Therefore, in the stage of background research, I selected a real lava planet K two one hundred forty one B among the exoplanets observed by human beings. The planet has rocky rain and supersonic winds. The depth of its magma ocean is estimated to be about eighty、uh, six miles, and so on. This data laid a foundation for my background research on Unit One and Unit Two, and provided the practical basis for creation. Based on this research, the environment, aliens, animals, creatures, plants were drawn on the lava planet. Every animal and plant is designed for the environment on the lava planet. For example, on Earth, the conditions for life are temperature, water, oxygen, light, and heat. While on the lava planet, the conditions for life may be magma and high temperature. Therefore, aliens on the lava planet have to keep their body naked because of the high temperature and loose heat, and only have one eye. The plants are also created according to the lava eruption or depending on the color and state of the magma. These scenarios show another possibility for life. In Unit Two, my project is situated site, and I selected Science Museum London. In addition, the biological knowledge investigated in the Science Museum London and analyzed the biological knowledge in the museum. The language of human civilization, the products of human interstellar exploration, science fiction and science fiction movies, etc. For example, the research on human and human body structure in the museum was applied to the structure and evolution of alien human body on the lava planet. For example, by analyzing and reflecting on climate-related and social issues, as well as environmental issues. In the science fiction Dune and the science fiction The Wind from Nowhere and the Joined World by British writer J. J. Ballard, the author further thinks about the significance of his project and raises the attention of the audience, science fiction fans, and children on climate and environmental change. In addition, 
I applied the evolution law of human civilization to the language of lava planet civilization, extracted elements from animals and plants on the lava planet I drew, and imitated a evolution process of hieroglyphics and letters, initially created some symbols and combined these symbols into the language of lava planet civilization. And in the process, the Voyage Manuscript and Codex Raffininus also played a crucial role in the meaning of writing on the lava planet. I wanted to create a mysterious lava planet script, but since they follow the logic of hieroglyphics, readers can understand the content through the imagination of the text, and through these settings, it can show a mysterious, undiscovered planetary civilization. Finally, for my major project, the work form of lava planet, I wanted to show the difference from Earth by showing the environment, setting and civilization of a lava planet so as to arouse people's attention to the unknown domain of the universe and discuss the real world and human civilization. It also arouses the audience's attention to the environmental change and climate change and the audience awareness of environmental protection. The project will also focus on showing the environment of exoplanets, the evolution of animals, plants, and organisms, as well as how interplanetary settlers might survive on the lava planet. So it might be presented as an encyclopedia, an animation, or a game exploring lava planets. The text of the project is free from the shackles of words and grammar and the audience can feel and associate with the settings on the lava planet like a child who can't read. Experience the world of lava planets in your imagination. During the whole process of Uni2, from a very ground point to a complete project, I have gained a lot. This process not only satisfied my interest and curiosity as a science fiction fan, but also made a new attempt that I had never made before. The reflection on the whole process also made me understand my creation goal and significance more clearly. Thank you for your attention. Thanks to my tutors and classmates. My presentation is over.